hey guys it is me phoenix we are here to do a general read to see where your energy is please do me a favor like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video remember red hearts you made it through purple hearts if it resonates green hearts if you're working on it yellow hearts if you're rocking me got my six me to have my back because i have yours all of these cards turned over look at that all right, we have the Ace of Pentacles energy. We have the Three of Swords energy. We have the Five of Wands energy. We have the Two of Wands energy. We have the Nine of Wands energy. And we have the Queen of Cups energy. Our energy, and at the bottom is the Page of Swords. So there is some type of clarity in regards to the Ace of Pentacles being here. Heartbreak, conflict, making decisions, and setting boundaries, uh, especially when it comes to empathy and also when it comes to um, new opportunities and being able to manifest things, there are there is new decisions that excuse me there is a decision that you have to make, but you have to make it with clarity. You have to uh, kind of think about the things, and you have the new ideas and curios curiosity in regards to what you want to do. But at some point, these energies here is causing turmoil, making the decision in order to set the boundaries, in order to stay away from the heartbreak and the conflict moving forward um yeah in your new endeavors if that makes sense so there is a possibility of abundance but in manifestation but if you're able to be abundant and manifest with the same empathy that you had before when it came to the conflicts and the heartbreak will this be an opportunity for you and are you looking at things in the correct light when it comes to why you had to have some type of uh, um, energy of change, uh, uh, you know, or curiosity to change and to be able to manifest or to, you know, deal with this type of situation here, if that makes sense. Sorry, I am rubbing my eye. My eye is messed up. I don't know what I did. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. My eye has, I, I you know how you have one of those thin pieces of something in your eye, like a piece of, lint or something is in my eye and I cannot get it out but anyway so yeah I just believe that with the page of swords energy being here the whole point of this matter is to realize and to understand why if you look at this you're looking back at the times of the past and sometimes I mean not sometimes all the time you must learn from the past you know old Rafiki says you either run from it or you learn from it and so that is what you're, the universe is saying. The decision is to harbor over the conflict and the heartbreak of the past or is saying to move forward from the past. So that is where you have to get to the point to realize that, yeah, Ace of Swords energy is here now. So with the Ace of Swords being here now, it just lets you know that there are a lot of breakthroughs that happen and success that happens when it comes to you having mental clarity in regards to what can happen if you let go of the past and you learn from the past. So the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Swords. And again, the Ace of Pentacles just lets you know that there is wealth behind you just understanding. That's my um, notifications to say hello. You know, there's wealth behind you understanding what the past has taught you. And you have to be able to make that decision that, okay, now that I have this information or now that i i've learned from the heartbreak which is what we're clarifying now now that i've learned from the heartbreak now it's time for me to look what wonders look this is the uh page of uh wands energy now it's time for me to look with wonder and be able to see what it is page of wands energy yesterday is history tomorrow's a mystery the only thing that's real is the present moment so enjoy enjoy right now the pain of the past has caused you to live in and happiness because look at here there's a rose there there's a um, flowers there's water there's all these different things there's a certified letter all of these things are here but she's looking out towards what can happen if she just lives in this present moment and not necessarily looking at all of the things that caused her turmoil and the uh, page of wands again just lets you know that Sometimes you have to be able to explore or to be able to look and be free of the past, you know, and that is where you get out of the conflict and understand the difference between why uh, six, of, excuse me, five of wands energy, the conflict was there, 
with yourself or with the situation and the clarity is also there and understanding yeah three of wands energy clarify with the uh five of wands so the three of wands energy is just letting you know that you know what this is the decision that you have to make it could be business it could be personal but you have to be able to look ahead and grow from the past and the conflict the past conflicts and the past heartbreak and that's what the three of wands is here for clarifying the two of wands so we have the two of wands three of wands and the five of wands right so clarifying the two of wands oh and the page of wands clarifying the two of wands comes with you making a decision about the seven of swords the insecurities the past deception the past heartbreak you know uh the people that wanted to see you do bad the memories of the past these same couples are right here so this is that same energy here so you know this same couple and then there's always a third party there there's somebody there that's looking and trying to destroy and somebody remembering about the past but you just have to be able to make a decision on what it is and what boundaries you need to set nine of wands energy a lot of wands energy is out here uh nine of wands clarify with the emperor energy the nine of wands is setting boundaries uh and I was trying to say this in my last read, but I think I forgot. But uh, basically what the emperor is, is respecting yourself and setting boundaries. Um, I watched the video when it said boundaries are not about um, you, somebody respecting your boundaries. Boundaries are about you respecting your own boundaries. So basically the way she explained, she's a therapist. She explained that if you set a boundary that I don't take calls after 9 o'clock, at 901, 902, and 903, if somebody calls you, you don't answer that phone. And that's a boundary that you have to be able to respect yourself and do, not somebody expect somebody else to respect that boundary. You have to respect it and be able to not have empathy and say, oh, what do they want? Now, if it's an emergency and they call back several different times or they say it's an emergency, whatever, that's a difference. But respecting your boundaries is not answering the call at 9 o'clock. Everything else besides that is basically you letting somebody else disrespect your boundaries. And the uh, Queen of Cups energy is what we're clarifying now. It comes with the Hermit, soul searching. So the empathy comes with you learning and soul searching, high priestess energy, and also following your intuition. Sometimes we don't follow our intuition when it comes to what it is that we know is right in front of us. And that's why the Page of Swords is here just to let you know that, um, you know, you have that curiosity you know how they say curiosity kills the cat? Well, you being curious about what the past is and wanting closure from the past um, and also keep looking back to the past and not learning from the past is why we get into situations to where we have to go into hermit mode and we not, we're not trusting our intuition. High Priestess Energy just lets you know that you need to listen to your instincts and know that that, that curiosity is not where you need to be at. It needs to be far and away from you and just as long as you know why the heartbreak break and the conflict was there and you made a decision to set boundaries and to also look at the empathetic nature and why you had to watch how you did things by trusting in your in, your gut and trusting your intuition because hermit energy um, is you being able to meditate on the pain of the past and not trying to look for answers, if that makes sense. So there you have it. If that resonates, it resonates. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements. Remember, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Also, if you want are interested in my perspective of the four agreements, I'll put the link up here and also the chakras. The card that comes out is don't take anything personally. And this is everyone lives in their own dream. And so it says all people live in their own dream. In their own mind, they are in a completely different world from the one we live in. So all of the things that might have caused you heartbreak and might have caused you to look at certain situations, it has to... Hold on one second. Sorry, my son was right by my door talking to my other son. But anyway, so it'll always cause you to reminisce and to think about the past. And so once you learn that, you know, the decision you made was to set boundaries because this is what the past caused, cause insecurities, anxiety, and for you to always keep thinking about the what ifs of what if this person did right? What if this person wasn't in my life? What if this person uh, treated me this way? That always what if energy is that the reason why you have to be able to respect yourself and know that you, you did this soul searching 
to move forward. Your empathetic nature is nothing wrong with that. Your compassion itself and the way that you're able to comfort people and to be calm in certain situations until you're not, until you start taking things personally, and that's when you start lashing out. That's why the universe is saying you knew from the beginning, and now it's time for you to really sit back and trust your instincts and not um, to rely on anybody else to make you feel some type of way or to give wait for somebody to give you an answer that you already know the answer to. This is you sending strength and healing with your heart chakra. It's the green calcite. It says emotional balance, healing, and releasing. Releasing the things that no longer serve in you. Healing from the things of the past, the heartbreak and the conflict, and the emotional balance. Being calm in a situation because you've already set the boundaries and you know that there's not going to be the answer that you want to receive to move forward. I find pleasure in the simple joys of life. I find pleasure in the simple joys of life. And sometimes the joys of life come with the little things. It comes with, you know, sitting at the lake, you know, and enjoying, looking at the stars, you know, being able to enjoy the moment. And that's living in the present moment right now where you are. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack. Doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.